Rapper Il Bliss recently dropped a new album, Hashtag Powerful, and that body of work has been getting a lot of good reviews. So we've got him on telephone to talk about it. Hello, Il Bliss. Your album, Hashtag Powerful, is out and doing well from the look of things. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Now, that's some powerful title you've got for your latest album. What inspired that? Before I started recording um, this body of work, you know, I just took my time to name, you know, find the apt name for for where I wanted to take the music to. I just wanted to celebrate the fact that, you know, I started out this business as an entrepreneur, as a struggling music entrepreneur, and and got into the business, and, and I'm still here after this number of years, and I've been able to, you know, make statements, make artistic statements, you know, you know, for, you know, as an artist, you know. And actually, the music is meant to inspire people. The music is meant to inspire people and make people happy aspire, you know, to achieve all they seek to achieve. For instance, be a powerful photographer, be a powerful footballer, be a powerful engineer, you know. So it's not just about being in a power circle in the entertainment industry, it's about, you know, just getting people to achieve their dreams and, and be powerful in whatever sector that they are in. You know, using myself as the first, you know, as, as um, a point of reference. You had a series of guest appearances on the album, about 16 in all. Uh, now, there's this popular saying that too many cooks spoil the soup. Didn't you have any concerns in this regard? But if you look at it very closely, the same way you had a lot of, uh, quite a number of collaborations, you also had the solo songs. So you can't listen to that album and, and doubt who the songs belong to. So, I mean, from, from what WTF, um, Ami Day, from WTF featuring Olamide to Jamo featuring Cynthia Morgan to Many Men featuring Whiskey to LOVE remix featuring um, KC. You know, it, it just shows you, and these are people that I'm, I'm such a huge fan of their works. And when I reached out to them, you know, no run around, no run around. They came out, recorded, put their hands into what they recorded. So I had fun collaborating with them. And that's also how you keep your brand fresh. You need to record with people that are also buzzy and as well so that you can tap from their energy and tap from yours as well. You know, so this it wasn't a question of too many cooks. It was just one cook. You know, I was just cooking very dishes. Many have described this album as your best so far. Do you agree with them? Um, this is the album. Let's just say this is this is the album I'm most comfortable with. And I don't know which one is the best. I loved the last one, Ogaboss, but it was just under promoted. Under promoted because we terminate distribution after if you know after a little while because our market the market that distribute distributed it was being absolutely fraudulent about it you know some guy called Sammy Vibes you know I like to air him out because he still owes me money till tomorrow millions of naira you understand and we have contracts to it but you know how it is now we continue with the album which is why it wasn't as impactful as it was meant to be. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we saw that you worked with different producers unlike previously when Suspect produced most of your tracks. Why is that so? Suspect is the resident producer, is the overall producer uh, at um, Capitol Hill Music. So what it, it is, is for every song you had there, it was recorded by Suspect. By recorded, I would bring in the producer and would sit down and would record and he would mix and then he would master the songs. You know, so the fact that this album sounds good, really good sonically, like this way, is you can't you, you can't tell the success without you know I'm talking about sort of, um, suspects contribution. However, he produced a couple of songs on the album. He produced finally, um, I think it's it's on the album. Then he also produced um, Vex for me. You know, it's also on the album as well. So it's it's all round. For us, it's about the sound and can we get the producers that can team up with us and get the sound out. It's not about suspect producing everything. Just want to thank the fans. The response has been awesome, you know, and I just want them to get on iTunes as well and buy the album. It's called Hashtag Powerful. They should go out, they should buy, they should support the songs. You know, they should they should, they should just keep keep the momentum going while we keep pushing it from, from here as well. I thank all my hardcore, die hard Ill Bliss fans that keep standing with me. All right, thank you for speaking with us, Ill Bliss. We wish you all the best.